So starting with Annex version 10, we actually have a preset in Annex just for creating open source projects. And so let's start by creating a new Annex workspace. Let's call it my OSS lib and I'm using the preset OSS. Definitely opt into Annex Cloud here. Annex Cloud allows you to distribute your cache among your team. And it is our commercial platform, but for open source projects, we actually give you unlimited minutes. Once the installation process is finished, make sure you click that link here to activate your NX Cloud subscription. And so that boots up the NX Cloud workspace setup. Here you can see that we already connect to NX Cloud. We already have that token uh, in place because that was brought over by the NX setup. So we can just do next, next, and then view our workspace. Right now it will be empty, but once you start building new stuff or running test case, you will see your cache build up here and the saved minutes which you gained from connecting to Annex Cloud. So how is that open source setup different than the classic ones? If we open up here in Visual Studio Code, the difference you see is you don't have the classic apps and libs folder structure because it might not make sense in an open source project. And so what you have is a packages folder which basically contains all of your libraries and eventually also apps if you want. You can always change that because that whole setup is made possible by the new workspace layout which allows you to specify an apps directory name which in this case is packages and also a libs directory name which in this case is also packages. For more, definitely go to annex.dev, which is our documentation site where you can find all of the details regarding annex setup.